This video is in response to a question on willdiscuss.com's bulletin board system. One of our users ran into an issue where when they removed a program from their computer in Microsoft Windows XP, the program did not remove its name from the Add and Remove Programs dialog. So let me show you an example of what we're talking about here. In the Control Panel, in Add or Remove Programs, what basically happened is the user went in here and selected a program, hit remove, and after it had done finished uninstalling, it did not remove its entry out of this list. So this tutorial will show you how to remove programs out of this list manually. Go down to your start menu, click run, and type in regedit. R-E-G-E-D-I-T. When that opens up, you're going to see a directory structure listing. Open the directory H key local machine. Under that, open the directory software. Scroll down the list to Microsoft. Open the Microsoft directory. Scroll down the list until you find Windows. Open the Windows directory. Find current version. Open current version and scroll down until you find uninstall. Open the uninstall directory and you'll see a long list of cryptic folders. Scroll down that list until you start to see actual program names. So you see here, you know, Adobe Acrobat 8. Scroll down until you find the one that you want to remove. For this tutorial I'm going to remove uh, Search Assist. So you can see when I click on the folder you can see the name of the program and the uninstall string that it should have called when it uninstalled. So you right click on it, hit delete, and confirm that you want to delete it. Now if I close this out and go back to add or remove programs, search assist is no longer listed.